Hey Ryan. What's up? Did you hear about that lady whose house was infested with Easter eggs? No, I didn't. Yeah, she had to call an exterminator. <laughs> Happy Easter! Welcome back to Cooking with Two Chefs. We're gonna show you guys a really awesome recipe today that I know you all wanna learn how to make a perfect jammy egg. You know how we know? Cause y'all told us. Yep. <laughs> we got a lot of, uh, pretty much 100% yeses. We took a poll and said, hey, how many of you guys would want us to do a recipe to show you how to make jammy eggs? The perfect jammy egg, every single time, super easy. Mm -hmm. And everybody said, yes. So, seeing that it's Easter, we thought, what a better time to do jammy eggs. What a treat. Couldn't be simpler today. All we need is some eggs, a pot, a burner, and some water. For this cooking time that we're using today in this recipe, you want to use a medium to large size egg. An extra large egg, it won't be right. So the way that I do jammy eggs, I boil the water first. I don't put the eggs in the water until it's boiled. You want to fill the pot up with enough water to cover the eggs by one inch. Now that our water's boiling, now we're gonna throw in the eggs. Drop them in, two at a time. Be careful not to crack the shells. Set your timer for five minutes. Go. So we wanna make sure we have an ice bath ready. Some ice and some water. This is gonna help stop the cooking process and cool down the eggs quick enough to where they don't get overcooked with residual heat. Timer! As soon as that timer goes off, scoop these eggs out and put them right into the ice bath. So I'm gonna leave the eggs in this ice bath for about five minutes. That's gonna completely stop the cooking process and that's what we want. A few of you guys had questions about um, peeling the shell off of the egg. And I have a method for that that I've been using for years. It works really good. I'm gonna show you that now. So you're gonna grab your egg, crack it. I do on the top and the bottom and on all the sides. Just make sure it's nice and cracked. Now we're gonna take the egg, we're gonna put it in water. I peel the egg very gently in the water. And what happens is the water gets in between this membrane and the actual egg. So you just have to be really careful and make sure you're peeling off that membrane as well as the shell. And also sometimes you can see this air pocket. A lot of the times it goes e either to the top or the bottom of the egg. And if you can find that air pocket, it peels really easily. But again, you wanna do it in water. The moment of truth. I got them all peeled. They look good. I messed up on one, but you know, hey. You guys, these are perfect, like picture perfect. I just want to eat all of these. It's so easy. Best part is you can just keep them um, either peeled or you can even unpeel them and then store them in a little airtight container in the fridge for a few days and then that way you can use them for breakfast on your avocado toast or you can throw them in your ramen or soup. You'll just have them on hand and it's just a really fast, easy breakfast or snack. Totally. So, you want some everything bagel? This is my favorite thing to put on, is the everything with the bagel seasoning. Ugh, so good. Or just some mulled on. Gosh, look at, and look at it, it looks like confetti. Yeah. <laughs> it's runny, but it doesn't like run out. It's so cool. <laughs> you ate that in one bite. Mmm, <laughs> these are so good. The quality of the egg is pretty important. Mm -hmm. We try and buy farmer's market eggs from like local farms. Another good one is like Vital Farms. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much in a lot of stores. I mean, look at the color of the yolks. They're like so like bright, bright orange. and yeah. orange and just completely nutrient dense, like unlike a regular traditional store-bought egg. They're incredible. So, or, you know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna get some crystal. <laughs> There's not much left. 
as you can tell, because it's like empty. vinegary and it's literally like nothing except a little bit of chili pepper oh, and vinegar. That's a lot. Quarantine go. life. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Whoa. So there you have it. <laughs> well, we want to wish you guys a happy Easter. Yes. We also want to wish you a happy quarantine. <laughs> And we hope that like a cool recipe like this will brighten your day and give you a little more um, vocabulary in the kitchen. Vocabulary. <laughs> Something more in your egg repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> so make some jammy eggs. Give them to a friend. Throw them at somebody. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's Easter. Anything goes, right? Yeah. It's just egg-tastic. It's egg-cellent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for all of your comments and your input and requesting that we make this recipe for you. Yeah. Um, we love to have all of your comments and your questions. Follow us on all of our socials. Um, we are at twochefs.food on Facebook and Instagram. We have IGTV and all of our videos are posted on both and our YouTube channel, obviously, Cooking with Two Chefs. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.